Okay, how to save your air consumption? Yeah? Use less air when you die, okay? But not making you into a difficult uh, situation, for example, like uh, short of breath, for example, not enough oxygen, okay? No, 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 okay? Okay, so before we look into how to save air, might well we look into what consume your air most or what cause your air a lot, okay? So uh, I have a few uh, of my listed items, so let's look into it. The first one is a lot of people say they have big lung volume, especially guy. Guy have a bigger lung volume in relative to uh, uh, you know, different gender. So basically, when you have big lung volume, you breathe in and out. Well, that will spend a uh, lots of air. Whether you will actually fully use of that volume of air is another question. So that will be on how to improve air consumption. The second one will be I love to breathe in deep. That means that when I dive, I like. Ah, oh, it feels so comfortable. Okay, so uh, certainly the cost of it. Uh, if this is one of the one of the cause, you know, and uh, you you have to struggle between your love and air consumption. Okay. The third one is anxiety. You re sometimes when you are nervous, when you are anxiety, when you are in anxiety. Okay, this muscle tense up. Okay, maybe you can feel that you know it is tense up on. The outer muscle is actually not the whole body tense up without you knowing. Okay? So when this part is tense up, basically it's holding the lung. Okay? When it holds the lung, you will tend to draw in air. Then when you breathe out, you draw in air. You breathe out, this is not your control anymore. Okay? It's just like the tense, tense in the fear of diving. We talk about you know the anxiety, the um, the fear of that, the fear. Okay? And uh, other thing is like uh, well, I like to move fast. And go everywhere. That is that that kind of diving suits me, and I love it. Okay, so I think it's the same as I do. I love to breathe in deep because you feel comfortable diving that way. Okay, of course, if you have your buddy, you every time you come out after a twenty-five minute dives, and uh, she or he still have sixty minutes. Uh, well, sorry, still have hundred bar, hundred fifty bar. Then you really got to talk about it. Okay. Um, other reason is uh, buoyancy control. You found that you need to breathe out a lot in order to come down, to stay down with other people. Okay. You fight current. When you fight current, you use more air. So how to fight current but not using so much of air. Um, your, leg, your regulator is tuned too light. That means when you open your mouth, air comes in, which is not a bad thing because um, you know certain people they like this kind of like really smooth breathing. And also when you have um, when you're low on air or when you are uh, uh, what do you call you are hyperventilating, at least you still can get air because if the regulator is tuned too tight, when you hyperventilate, you 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 actually can't get air at all. Hey, uh, I like to dive deep. I like to dive deeper than others. So for sure, in the same situation, you will use more air than other divers. Okay. And I heard that um, ma, uh, we need a lot of um, oxygen when we are fighting current. So I breathe fast. Oh, that's also perception-wise. I mean, hey, and then um, I need, I naturally need more oxygen, or else I would have headache. So I breathe in, you know, and out more so that I have enough oxygen. Okay? Air is the same, everybody breathes the same um, air. Okay, and uh, maybe the last um, reason is I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe one or some of the reasons above, uh, above, previously, uh, what I mentioned. Okay? Or maybe equipment leakage. Maybe the tank that you get have two, uh, not enough, not a full tank. Like two hundred bar is our standard here, or three thousand psi. So maybe it's not a full tank. Maybe your buddy sip your air along the dive. You know, you just go to take your alternate air source and uh, you know. So find out what actually causes your air. What makes you consume a lot of air, and then we go into individually how to solve the problem. So the reason why we need to solve the problem, sometimes you know I have been diving like this for years, it doesn't matter. So 
this uh, uh I, I think sometimes you know diving is not a, a solo diver thing of course there is solo diver not saying i cannot i'm just talking about generally uh, diving in a group of people uh, generally you spend longer time you tend to see more generally uh, uh, a, a most of the dive center when you are low on air well, both of you have to ascend some of the dive center when you're low on air the whole group we, well, you we know each other or not, you still have that ascent. I know it's not fair. I know it's, I don't even talk about fair or not fair. That is just individual companies, the policy, and also the dive leaders uh, policy. Um, maybe you need some of the air to uh, save other people. There's one time it happened before that um, uh, 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 the body is out of air. The, the, uh, uh, his, his, his or her, his body, it's low on air, but that tank of air is not even enough for both of them to do safety stop because the air consumption of the other body is too high. Okay? Yeah. So get to find this factor first, this one or two, one or two or three or some. Okay? Find this factor first and it's very easy because sometimes there's a decision to make. Sometimes there may be a small training that you need to do. Okay. And sometimes there is some understanding that really you need to know. Okay, one example is like uh, not enough oxygen, because when you go ten meter or twenty meter, the oxygen is really enriched already because of the pressure. Not not the enriched air. I'm talking about normal air. I only do normal air diving. Okay, thank you.